This time of year, lots of beautiful flowers are in bloom. And the scent from the rose garden of one of Roy's folks will make everyone stop and smell the roses, including Fox H. Chad Tuck. These roses have been here, most of them have been here, uh, 60 years. And Gary Fleming should know. Coming out of He's been tending these very bushes. Oh, yes. For nearly half a century. So if these weren't here when you bought the home, do you think you would have gotten any roses? Probably not. What the previous owners planted, he's nurtured. When you cut it down to that five-leaf cluster. Oh, yeah. This time of year, late spring, early summer, is when they put on a show. But it's a long stem, uh -huh. which are ideal for cutting and taking in for display. And where you'll find Gary almost every day. Right now it produces color for the neighborhood. If you catch the buds at the right stage, they're beautiful and they make wonderful bouquets that you bring in the house or you take to your friends or your family. Uh, just working in the roses is good therapy. Mostly white and pink. Most of Gary's garden therapy includes removing the spent blooms. What I'm doing now is basically deadheading. Making way for more color to share. But I will take these inside and uh, Claudia will arrange them in a vase. Because sharing their beauty is what it's all about. And that'll become a big bud. From family to the passing neighbor. You think he would like that? Colin, look at that. Well, it's, it's therapeutic. You come out here and you take care of something that you know is going to, to make a difference in the growth of the rose. And in the blooms of life. I missed that one. That we all, like Gary Fleming, can share. I'm not different. I'm not unique. Everybody likes to be appreciated for what they do. Their labor of love, whatever it is. Adios. Okay. And Winston Salem. I like that. Looking for Roy's folks. Everybody should like that. Chad Tucker. <laughs> Bye. Foxy News. Oh, it's a good feeling, yeah.